I believe the most common hunting accident is cutting yourself with your knife when field dressing the animal. So today I want to share with you some tips to make your field dressing much safer. Now I think one of the most dangerous cuts is reaching inside that cramped body cavity to cut the windpipe and remove the internal organs. Now it seems really obvious to reach in with your hand, grab the windpipe, and then come in with your knife. And you can see the problem here. I'm moving that sharp knife tip right in the direction of my hand. So my tip to you here is instead, first reach in with the knife, then bring your hand in underneath to grab the windpipe. Another thing that I like to do is I like to choke up on the blade and put my index finger right on the knife tip. This does a couple things. For one, it gives me excellent control of that blade so I know right where it is. Two, it controls the tip so there's no chance of me poking myself with the knife tip. Now another thing I like to do, instead of using the knife blade, is I'll use the gutting blade on this knife to cut inside the animal. This way I have a blunt tip so there's no chance of poking myself and this is great for cutting around the diaphragm and reaching inside to cut the windpipe. Now on a non-trophy animal, the method I like to use is I'll take this gutting blade and I'll slit all the way up to the neck. I'll make a cut all the way up the front of the animal. Then I'll take a small folding saw and use that to saw through the rib cage. Next, I'm gonna take a rib cage spreader. I'm gonna set that on both sides of the chest and pop that into position. Now I have that chest spread fully open and this gives me great access so I can easily go inside to cut the windpipe, cut the lungs, cut around that diaphragm and take all those internal organs outside of the body cavity. My next tip to you is whenever you go hunting is always have a good first aid kit in your vehicle or carry one in your hunting pack. Make sure it's stocked with plenty of good bandages, gauze and antiseptic just in case a cut happens. My final tip to you here is once that knife comes out, slow everything down. Make all of your cuts precise and deliberate. Be aware of each cut that you make as well as the position of your knife hand and most importantly, your free hand. Also try to avoid using a lot of force when cutting with your knife and make each cut accurately. It's really easy to get caught up in the excitement of taking a great animal or you harvest an animal right at dark and end up rushing things. That's exactly when accidents happen. Think about being packed in for miles on a remote hunt of a lifetime. You end up cutting yourself badly and then you're many hours away from seeking any medical attention. Well, I hope with these tips, you're gonna do a safer, more efficient job of field dressing your animal and greatly reduce the chance of cutting yourself with your hunting knife.